Hello and welcome to your online physical geography lab. I am going to be your instructor this term. My name is Jeremy Patrick, and the purpose of this video is to kind of just introduce you to the course, some of the content, and just Canvas overall. So I want to be able to show you a couple things about what to expect and how to navigate through this course. Now, whether you're taking this as a 16-week or an 8-week or even the super high capacity and intense three week intercession, it's still the same stuff. It's still the same process. The only difference is uh, the speed or rate in which you're gonna need to complete some of these assessments and assignments. So like I said, the purpose of this video is just to introduce you to the content, what we have, what to expect, um, and really how to access these things. So uh, let's get started. All right, so to begin, I've logged into Canvas, as we can see here. Uh, we're looking at our Canvas shell. There's lots of different resources and tools. Uh, I'll usually provide the dates in which this course is in, in session. So as an example, uh, this is introducing one of our three-week course intercessions. So I'm gonna click on modules. I am an advocate for the module tab. That's where everything will be found. So as you can see in this particular course, I have it broken up into weeks. Your first module is just introducing you to the course. So you've got your, your welcome letter, which is an incredible resource uh, explaining kind of some of the tools that have been provided for you, uh, also introducing you to some of the different um, elements and really how this course is outlined. So as you can see, this is a three week course. The last week is this kind of recap and re-wrapping up for the final exam. You also have your tips for having a successful uh, opportunity on Canvas itself. Uh, these are all important things to make sure you just kind of go through. I give you a lot of hints and tips and and uh, and tricks. This one down here is an excellent video that I've shared. Uh, this is, if you ever wanted to know how to complete a PDF using Canvas, you can do that now. You don't need to download a PDF and put it in some Adobe software and upload and edit and download and configure. You don't need that anymore. We can now complete everything in Canvas, which is one of the things you're gonna have to do in this course. All labs will be submitted as a PDF to Canvas, as a single PDF. So you're not going to be able to submit a 10-page lab as 10 different documents. It will not be graded. Only the first page will be graded. So this is the easiest way to do that. And the video explains it, but just in brief, what you're going to do is you're going to literally download the PDF, and I'll show you how to do that, the lab. Then you're going to immediately submit it. I know it sounds weird, but trust me. You submit it, and then you can go back and annotate and make your edits, draw your lines, circle, type. All that can be done there. Um, you have until the due date for that. Uh, then of course it'll be late, but it's just a great tool. This video is a great resource. Uh, nonetheless, we get through, you know, if you need additional support with the text, uh, you got your week one check-in. If you did not complete that assignment, it's just a yes or no question. If you don't complete that assignment before uh, the due date, you will be dropped from the course. And then one of the only extra credit opportunities that we're gonna have, uh, which is to subscribe for extra credit using YouTube, because you'll see that all these labs are linked to YouTube. So let's look in a lab. Uh, so you have your weekly overview, you're going to click on a lab, and in that lab is everything you're going to need. You're going to have the PDF, so you can download the PDF of the lab. If you just click the link, it opens it here. You're going to want to download it to your desktop, but the, the labs are all here. This is an OER, meaning it's a free textbook and free resources, uh, and the way to keep it free is to just keep it free and not put it online. Um, I will let you know, just as I'm going to add it in here real quick, a lot of students do try to submit this content to Chegg, Study Blue, and all these other different resources, and do know that that is actually illegal. It's copyrighted, and uh, it'll be taken down, and you could be penalized. So don't do that. Um, then, as you'll see, is every lab will have a couple of video resources for additional help. The first one is always the most important. The first one that you'll click on there. Uh, it will open up to. Oh, sorry, commercial here. We're gonna mute that. Um, what will end up happening is you click on that link and it'll take you to a video uh, in YouTube. That's a lot of commercial. And it takes you page by page, step by step through these assignments. So it's just like having me there in the class when you're doing this online. So it's really a, a great thing. So as you can see, here's that lab. I'm going to talk you through it page by page. It's going to be also captioned and it's going to teach you how to do these activities 
really a great way to complete this. Then the, if you have other support, maybe you're working in the lab and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't understand this. Chances are there's going to be another video here that explains it. And all these are free resources, so please, please utilize them. They're not just there because I want you, know, you to maybe think about it. They're there to give you the answers. And then again, the you know point six down here will explain that how you do this, how you submit this assignment to Canvas, how you uh, do it as a PDF because it PDFs only, period. So you've got all these great resources that are available. I want to kind of go back um, as you'll see also that there are um, throughout this course a handful of labs. There's twelve labs in total, which means depending on the length of your course, it could be a lab a day, a lab every other day, or maybe a lab a week. There's only one exam. It's a cumulative lab exam. Uh, you can access the course syllabus, which you certainly can make changes throughout the course, uh, you know, depending on the length of this course. But you'll see that the labs are worth 75% of your grade. The lab exam is worth 25. Um, late labs are accepted. So things happen. It's 11.59 at night and you're trying to submit your lab and it's due at midnight and you miss it. Um, you can turn in labs late. Uh, there will be a non-negotiable 15% reduction for every day that it's late until the lab is worth nothing. But you do have that. So how do you avoid you know, receiving that penalty and having that go against your grade? Turn the labs in early. In fact, if you turn them early, and you'll notice all labs have two submissions, if you turn it in early, I'll be able to provide feedback and you can resubmit before the due date for a higher grade. Um, do take advantage of that. So you've got your, your course uh, syllabus. Please be sure to reference that, the drop dates, deadlines, and the due dates of all the assignments. So I'm going to go back to uh, the module page one more time. Again, each lab will have uh, you know its own instructions, its own set of videos. Always work ahead. Something that you'll also need to keep an eye on often in Canvas, is, especially in the top, is that sometimes you have these options. You must complete all items before you can move. You will look at the welcome letter and you're going to mark that you saw it. You're going to mark that you saw it. If you do not complete those things, you're not going to be able to move on to the lab. So make sure you do take advantage of, of these steps. Everything is here because it is necessary. It's necessary for you to get the A that you are striving for in this course. Um, one other thing that I'd like to mention while I'm thinking about it is that if you are concurrently enrolled in a lecture course, please make sure it's my lecture course. Do not take it with someone else. It makes it so much easier when the lecture content and the lab content is aligned. If you're taking it from two different instructors, the content may not always align at the same time. My stuff is always linked together, so that's a great tool to have. Again, lab two. I'm clicking on that. You've got your lab as a PDF, the instructional video additional support videos to help you work through this. Um, you know, again, cumulative lab exam at the end. I'll send some more information about that out as you get closer towards the end of this uh, semester. But I just wanted to just explain a little bit what we've got, how it's done. It's really easy. Um, I think that, you know, if you just dedicate the time, it's going to be simple. I've told this to many students. Do not rely on other people for answers, whether it be you found them online because you Googled it, because you get it from a peer, because what it comes down to is that final exam, that 25%, that's two and a half letter grades. If you find a way to work through these labs without actually working through them and just get, a, you get an A on all of them, you will not pass the lab exam telling you that right now. I deal with it every semester. People will get 100% on all the labs and then they fail the lab exam and then they say, you're right, I didn't do that. I found answers, I borrowed quizzes, I borrowed this. The lab exam takes questions from every lab, but it changes the values. So you're going to have to be able to resolve some of those problems. So if you've worked on these labs, you wrote your notes and you're all, you know, you're working through it and you're doing your due diligence within that, the lab exam is going to be an easy, easy exam. Why? Because you have the steps, you have the tools, and it's going to be open note. If you just have a list of answers and no idea how to solve it, you're not going to do well. So please make sure that you do the work, you work through this. You know, there are 
other you know opportunities there's a chat room work together on stuff but make sure you include your work show how you've done it show those steps so that way when you get to the chance or that opportunity for the exam you don't have to stress about it there's nothing to prepare for other than making sure you get all your labs out together and you work through the exam one question at a time well Again, this is just a quick intro. I'm really excited for this term. You know, again, whether this is a 16 week, an eight week, or a three week, you know, it's the same amount of content, the same amount of assignments. It's just what changes is the the length or distance in between them. So just make sure you get a head start, work ahead. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So try to get done what you can today to prepare for the un unknown tomorrow. Uh, I am looking forward to working with you. Please do not hesitate to send me an email and I'll certainly get back to you within a few hours unless it's the weekend because I'm a person too and I like to do stuff like go hiking or go to Disneyland or something like that. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and if you're in this course you can uh, su uh, submit that screenshot uh, as an image to the assignment, you can submit it right here, and you're going to get, you know, the only extra credit opportunity this entire semester is right there. And how easy is that? You just got to subscribe, take a screenshot that you did on YouTube, and send it there. Um, it's a great resource. I'm really thankful to be able to offer you know, offer these videos and these tools to you. Again, this course is there's no cost. No book to buy, no lab manual to buy, no content to buy, everything is free. And I, I worked really, really hard to make sure that you have this available to you. So um, make sure you take advantage of it. Good luck, I'm excited to work with you, and we'll talk soon.